pretty much stick around. No one else is coming over here. Got just the Three. chill 64 double setup. Uh, yeah. All right. Might just hang out. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, wait. Oh, photo opportunity from our friend here. Uh, wait. All right, um, Crust is going to the bathroom. Uh, this is just going to be me on solo commentary. We got Dark Horse, Raichu, Fire Blaster, and Hurdle. Again, three Pikachus and one Kirby. It's pretty intense. Um, there's a lot of hitboxes flying out in these kinds of matches. Pretty hard to tell what's going on at times, but you know, these guys are some of the best of the best, and that's why you love to watch it. So, all right, Dark Horse just hanging out. Hey, and we got FayJ coming on commentary. What's up, FayJ? How's it going? Hey, I'm good. How are you, man? I'm good. Um, I'm good. We're just watching this uh, three Pika, one Kirby match. You know, no surprise there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it can get pretty intense when these guys are all, you know, playing these shifty characters. I mean, there's no other way to put it, really. They're just sometimes very hard to deal with, especially when they... Uh, PJ's bowing out because he thinks he doesn't know anything about 64. I would have to disagree. Um, all right. So, all right. So, Dark Horse and Raichu are red. So, the colors on the top are off. But, you know, that's what will happen when the producer is playing in the match currently. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's going on? Not much, man. Just commentating this match. What's your tag? Uh, Thorio. Okay, Spongy. Hey, nice to meet you, man. You too. Um, uh, you play 64? Yeah. All yeah. right, so you can bring some more technical knowledge yeah. to the table, I think. I do know a few things, but okay. in terms okay. of percent and stuff, I'm a melee player. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know mostly things in that game in right. terms of the uh, nitty gritty. But uh, yeah. All right. So what do we got going? I, I promised I'd commentate because I'm not doing doubles. Ah. Because, well, I don't know. I won't get into it right now. But uh, <laughs> it has something to do with some of the characters on the screen. Ah, <laughs> uh, there um, we go. All right. So what's going on in this game so far? It looks like. Fire Blaster Purtle ahead? Yeah, because Dark Horse, I assume Dark Horse is Kirby. Yeah, and yeah the colors in the top are switching red the Pika. colors in the All bottom, right. which is a little yeah. confusing. But uh, yeah, right yeah. now it's just two Pikas. Oh, not even now. That's not bad. Yeah, uh, Purtle's, Purtle and Fire Blaster are both pretty good at doubles. Uh, I teamed with Fire Blaster uh, at SmashCon, and um, and then Pirtle, I think, did really well with Shalaka last last shine oh, in doubles. Okay. So I actually think I remember that. Actually, was there. Raichu, I haven't seen that much of in doubles. He uh, he picked up. He, he's been he's been working on his Pikachu. Um, but I think he mostly plays singles. So. Okay. I mean, it's a much different game. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, yeah. he's holding his own so far. And right. it's also interesting. Nice. Oh, okay. This is looking. This is looking a bit closer. We'll see if Kurtle can hold on to this last stock. And oh. See if he can not have to steal. He's. All right. Let's see. He's. Oh nope. He's recovering again. <laughs> well, the synergy between Raichu and Dark Horse is looking solid right now. They're starting to get a little bit more momentum. Yeah. Uh, both go to the top platform. They get hit off. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. And now Pirtle's going to presumably have to steal. Okay. And that, this is, like, pretty even, right? Yeah, wow. Ooh, All right. That's not... Oh, wow. no. That was quite the turnaround. So now it's like, can Pirtle make this comeback? And Dark Horse also a very good doubles player. <laughs> All right, all right, and Raichu uh, just secure in that one with the F smash on, on his teammate and his opponent. I feel like in this game, more than a lot of the other Smash games, I see a lot of just double hits, 
no regard for human life, reckless yeah. abandon, throwing yeah. out moves, and a lot of the times it, it just works. You yeah, know? I it's, can't. I personally can't speak for any other games. Yeah. Um, but but it happens, especially when you have moves like Pika's F Smash in this yeah. game that just it just goes out so far. It covers so much area. Like yeah, that's what it comes down to, I guess, is the big hitboxes. Yeah, because you just have some ridiculous yeah, stuff. Yeah, some in of the moves. It's, yeah, uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I remember the first time I watched the actual visualized hitboxes in this game. Yeah, and just seeing stuff like Kirby's up till right, and you right. know Falcon's up smash and just some of the most insane, heinous hitboxes I've ever seen. And that's why I love this game, honestly. Yeah, it's beautiful. For sure. Uh, was that game one? What game was that? Uh, yeah, that was Looks game like one. Looks like it. Yep. Is there? Oh, we don't have a. Yeah. Our, our stream manager is uh, playing right now, it looks yeah. like. So I wonder if. I don't I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to go over <laughs> there. And, like, just, I, you know what? I'm going to look at it while they're like talking amongst themselves. I believe in you, honestly. I don't. Uh, Okay, thank you. Dark Horse just out there, both running the stream and playing doubles, which honestly uh, makes no sense. What a god. All right, I thought I did it, but it isn't showing up, so we'll figure it out after. <laughs> Ooh, um, nice couple uh, yeah. passes there. I mean, yeah, that was a, it's, it's 1 0 Dark Horse, Raji, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, right, so um, just keep the mental tally and we'll get it. Ooh, the. Uh, neutral B from uh, Dark Horse there. Not something you see a lot. You always love to see when you do, though. Yeah. Uh, ooh. That was I'd... a really good back here. <laughs> yeah, what and else to say. Hitting, oh! his, hitting his teammate actually saves him. Yeah. Good little sequence right there. Um, and yeah. Then, yeah, Raichu and Dark, or excuse me, Fire Blaster and Pertle come out on top. Pretty yep. impressive. And now they're going to have to see if they can get some percentage here, because Pirtle's pretty high, and Fire Blaster's also somewhat high. Looks like Pirtle just lost that, but Fire Blaster definitely able to um, hold on to his stocks really long if he has to. Sometimes it doubles, it makes a difference. I mean, that double back throw. Oh, wow. Really tough sometimes to just coordinate those edge guards. Yeah. Uh, especially when the other team can mix it up. Um, even in a game like this where the edge guarding can be very, very linear at times. Yeah, the edge guarding can be flowcharty, but against Pikachu it can be it can be really tricky. Oh yeah, I mean that goes without saying. Pikachu's insane. Okay, so Fire Blaster Purtle have stage control. Oh, and they're Fires off stage. Ah, nice. Very nice there by, by Pirtle. And yeah, just more beat. stocks. Yes. <laughs> more stocks just going off. <laughs> going off screen. It's just a constant building up to the inevitable explosion. Shield break by Dark Horse. Is he going to be able to take it? Oh, nice up smash. Yeah, very good choice. That was a really Horse. good, yeah, good decision. You know, it's really tough sometimes in the heat of the moment, especially when you're just seeing this much stuff going on. Yeah. So, you know, kudos to him for keeping a little cool head and running the stream as well yeah. while he's playing this game. So, you know, it just goes to show you. Man, they're both just kind of squabbling with each other. Uh, nice job by Fire Blaster. Yeah, they're playing... They're putting a lot better this game. I mean, I think they were. Oh, trying to. They're going for some passes here. Ooh. Okay. Let's yeah. see if they can. Let's see if they can keep like that. Oh no, I think that's hurdle stock. Okay, yeah. We'll I mean, see if they can keep that through the last like that. That advantage through these last stocks. Just like last game. Um. Starts up with a uh, Fire Blaster Purtle up, and yeah. now Dark Horse Raichu kind of saying, not yet. And those down airs from Dark Horse doing a lot of work. Yeah, uh, seriously. Edge guards. Yeah, Kirby's down air makes no sense. Oh, and, and this looks like pretty solid situation from uh, yeah. Fire Blaster Purtle. No room for imagination. Yeah. Just does it. It's done. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate Ooh. that. Got some uh, drink couriers coming over. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Okay, so. Oh, uh, Spongy's gonna go try to update I'm gonna, the score. I'm now. gonna put score plus one, and then. It's 
one one. Is there an no. update? There's an update bracket button, but that's blurred out. But yeah, it, I'm definitely putting it in the right spot. Oh wait, do I press save? Hey, Dark Horse, do I press save to update it? Yeah. Okay. So if we do this. Hey, there we go. All very, right. very nice. And again, Dark Horse both playing a doubles match and helping run the stream. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it really doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Dark Horse uh, switching to DK, and I think they're counterpicking oh to, uh, my goodness. to Yoshi's. And uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a strong play, if only because I know Fire Blaster does not like this stage for doubles. Uh, we played on it at SmashCon. This is the same rule set at SmashCon. And uh, we like we didn't know what the rule set was when we went to SmashCon. <laughs> and we some team counterpicked us to Yoshi's. So oh. They're like, what is this? <laughs> Bamboozle. Ooh, and uh, but not working out for them so far. I mean, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Donkey Kong just kind of seems like a big punching bag within yeah. all these three Pikachus. I guess we'll just have to see if that changes, but... Yeah, you know. so the advantage to DK here is that the blast zones are so small ah. that, like, DK can back throw through, like, to, to death easier than almost anyone. Oh, yeah. But, of what? course... Oh, and I think Pirtle going a little bit too far there. Gets edgeguarded by Raichu as he's trying to edgeguard... Uh, uh, Dark Horse. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, like, who's who. Yeah. Uh, especially in the heat of the moment, the color outline yeah. is really not that discernible. But, you know, two party happy Pikachu's having a good time, but Dark Horse and Raichu keeping it respectable. Yeah, this is pretty close so far. Ooh. Good, uh, good upbeat there from Fire Blaster. I like that charge. Just bide your time. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen the donkey punch come into play too much uh, in in doubles, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, he only needs one moment, one yeah. opportunity. Oh, nice up air, but doesn't quite do anything yet. Oh, very nice sort of falling there, there by by Pirtle. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, 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 oh. It's trapped under the stage. Yeah. And Sometimes you just can't escape that. Pretty much every stage, you know, if you get the wrong angle, you're just dead. And uh, Fire Buster Pirtle got another lead here. Very nice back throw. Very quick. Nope. But now it's not that much of a lead. Yeah, you can also see the difference on in this stage. Aside from just, like, smaller blast zones, but then also the platforms higher and they have this slant on them, right? So Yeah, definitely wonky. I, yeah. I've played on it before. I've never really liked it. I can imagine if you're not prepared, it can yeah. definitely throw you off. And I would imagine that a lot of the counterpicks to here are probably trying to exploit that. But yeah. And and Raichu taking that stock, they I think they, they probably decided uh, who do we want as having the last stock <laughs> in this game probably Probably the Pikachu and not the DK. Yeah. Oh, oh and Raichu missing that up. That's that's too bad. Well. Uh, honestly, I could see this going either way. Um, you know, I've seen some really good stuff from Dark Horse and Raichu so far. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they just were able to swing the momentum just long enough for them to get the next match. But, yeah. you know, honestly, I, I really want to see Dark Horse just pull something crazy out here because it seems like he's want to do so based on his recent picks. Yeah, he Dark Horse plays a lot of different characters. I don't even know who he plays the most, honestly. I can't keep track of it. But the only character he, like, definitely doesn't play is Pikachu. Uh, so we're not going to see that. I that's mean, respectable, though. Hey. You yeah. Know. Hey. Yeah. Well, so there, there's Dark Horse, and then there's uh, Josh Brody, formerly known as Park Sanchez. Uh. And uh, uh, Josh plays almost uh, entirely uh, Pikachu. I feel like for a lot of the top Ooh. players I've seen in 64, they kind of just are comfortable with a lot of characters. That's yeah. kind of how it goes. Um, yeah. And then a lot of times they just rip out the Pikachu when they really got to play. Yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. Fire Blaster, Fire Blaster does like to play Yoshi in doubles. I don't personally, as, like as someone who played with him, agree with this pick. But um, he's he's better equipped to decide than me. Uh, sometimes it's a comfort thing, you know. Yeah, th 
this stage is also a little wonky. It's not like melee because the blast zones are huge. Ah. Uh. So maybe I don't, I don't know what the, what's the order of like pick and ban. Like they made a pick this stage because of uh, Dark Horse's uh, Falcon pick. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah. A lot of room to run around, and Falcon. Some of Falcon's combos can kill at those kind of earliest percents, and so you know might be, yeah. might be advantageous here. A little bit of a missed throw there by Fertile, but oh, Firebuster gets back. All nice right. down tilt there from Raichu, and I think that's going to be the stock for Fire. Yeah, very nice. But uh, Yoshi is very good on just like flat surfaces, so maybe uh, that's part of the, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, sometimes you just gotta switch things up to yeah, make it I, work. Um, I personally, I do enjoy FD regardless yeah. of the matchup and, you know, in this game especially. I, uh, I'm so unused to, to counter picking in this game that like, <laughs> I don't even know like how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I'm sure that's probably how a lot of people feel, and yeah. probably why we're just seeing some of these counter picks. Because you know, why not? Yeah, you need you need to switch up your strategy. There's nothing better to do than to switch up your environment, your playing field. Ah, uh, oh, Fabulous are nearly avoiding getting trapped into the stage there. Yeah, and it looks like they're still. Looks like they're doing pretty well on this stock. I'm wondering if the Falcon was maybe in response to the Yoshi counter pick. Yeah, I'm not it could quite be. sure. Right, because they have to pick their characters first. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that, that there's a good chance that that's why he decided for Falcon. Because, yeah. you know, Falcon, he can up these Yoshi, Yoshi super armor, as far as I know, which might be effective. Yeah. Um, but also, in this huge mishmash of four uh, characters, it might be a little difficult. Oh! Oh, but that that uh, ground pound doesn't kill from Fire Blaster. Yeah. Uh, and the FD pick working out for Dark Horse and Raichu then. I mean, that's that's Raichu's last stock, so he's probably gonna steal here. And now, if they can get this, ah, oh, and Fire Blaster secures. That's a yeah, play. that's that's really nice for their team. Hey, he can still do this. Yeah, Raichu definitely could. If he can get like, like Fire Blaster's double jump, and like Pirtle's off stage. Get a strong hit on a uh, Pirtle right now, and then. Oh, that's Fire Blaster stock. Woo! Come back from uh... Raichu. That, that's wow. it. Wow. Nicely done by Raichu there. That was a crazy turnaround. Holy crap. It's game five. I yeah. love it. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's see who Dark Horse picks next. I love this. He's just <laughs> playing everyone. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to stay on, uh, on Falcon here. I guess he has to pick first now. So Right. What's he going to do? Oh, let's update the, update uh, the score. We're back to normal, baby. We got well, three Pikas, yeah. one oh, Kirby. Yeah. It had to end like this. Yep. So let's see if uh, Firebuster and Pirtle can remember what they learned from the first two games. <laughs> oh, very nice. I, I think Dark Horse has just got to hold down and press A and just yeah. hope, hope that that. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Just Yaku, like, yeah. oh. He gets back on stage. Man, they're just oh. jumping around off stage. Unfortunate SD there. They're even. Yeah, and you'll see that Prittle goes over there when he gets when he gets Dark Horse that <laughs> Dark Horse Dark Horse off stage to go and like help his teammate. Nice down air. Yeah. Love those reversal type situations. <laughs> the <laughs> double thunder. <laughs> There's oh. one thing you'll see uh, see people do very occasionally in this game. It's not easy to, to pull off, but if uh, Kirby and, and Pikachu are on the same team, Kirby can F throw, and then Pikachu can thunder. Because And because Kirby goes right up to the blast zone, you can kill very early. Ah, that's interesting. Oh. Yeah. I'd love to see that. 
Oop. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's another new thing. That's pretty incredible. Oh, nice DI by Dark Horse. Yeah, he was. He didn't have any jumps left there either. Yeah, that was really clutch. Dark Horse kind of trying to make something happen here. Oh, a little too far down. Ah, that's a rough situation to be in right there. It just gets yep. backboarded off Dreamland. Hey, I mean, this is doable for either team. Yeah, it's so it's very even. Close. Holy crap. Kirby just trying to make something happen. Yeah. Raichu kind of dancing around. Oh, nice reverse. Right now, uh, Dark Horse and Raichu kind of just like sticking together, keeping yeah. them on the edge. Like, looking really good. Uh, nice. Uh, that was a good response from a uh, blue team. Yeah, one thing you definitely don't want is to get like really split up. Yeah, definitely. And I think, yeah, I think Dark Horse and Raichu have had more of the stage control this game. Still oh. even though, it's still anyone. Can. Oh yeah, this is, this is quite the set already. I mean, first it kind of looked like Fire Blaster and Purtle were maybe Dark gonna take it up. Both of them are in an edge guard. Both Dark Horse and uh, Raichu in an edge guard situation. A back, recovering back air from Dark Horse gets him back on stage. Nice, dang. Nice. They're, they're just scrapping. It's even right now. Let's see if he can get out of the situation. Yep. Oh, that's it for Dark Horse stocks. Just like that. Let's see, you got your near Kirby against some Pikas. It's just yep. gonna happen sometimes. All right, let's see. If, let's see if Raichu can do do another comeback. I don't know. I, I would be surprised, but. Uh, especially since you can't just like you can't just like steal the double jump and uh, take the stock, you know? Yeah, it's gonna Off be Yoshi. rough. Ooh. Yeah, and uh, Fire Blaster saw that one coming from a mile away. Yeah, nice, uh, yeah. nice teamwork there on that last edge guard. Yeah. Like Purtle covers high, Fire Blaster covers yeah. low. That was really so. good coordination. Um, great job by, both, by all four of those guys, yep. and especially you know Dark Horse and Raichu, kind of doing all they could and bringing it back from the break on multiple occasions. Mm -hmm. uh, great set and Fire Blaster and Pearl, congrats. It's very, very good. Oh, that's Okay, so that's winner's semis. Mm -hmm. all right, how far uh, are we? I believe uh, we're going to see uh, well, winner's finals is set up now, I believe. Okay. 909. Who's up next? I don't oh, know. There we go. DFX and the Yid. Okay. Versus. Damn. Honestly, doubles and smash games aren't necessarily my thing to 